The word for today, I must work the works of him who sent me. John 9 verse 4. Like the rest of us, Jesus sometimes got tired. See John 4 verse 6. But he was never stressed out by the job. He was led but never driven. He knew what needed to be done and the amount of time required to do it. And he picked a team to accomplish it. Three of them, Peter, James and John, were in his inner circle. It wasn't that he showed favoritism. He just recognized the particular gifts of the people he worked with and what he needed from each of them to get the job done. An important step towards accomplishing something big is knowing the kinds of people you will need. In other words, you need to know who should be on your team. Jesus spent three and a half years training his disciples before delegating responsibility to them. Was he afraid they would make mistakes, outshine him, or make him look bad? No. He told them, He who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. John 14, 12 Jesus was a team player who got things done through others. But even when you break a task down, strategically plan it, and recruit terrific people, you need one more component to succeed. Teamwork. Teamwork is the glue that brings people together and keeps them together. There are more than a billion Christians in the world today. And it all started 2,000 years ago with one man who had a vision and then recruited and trained a team to fulfill that vision. If you're wise, you will study his work philosophy. That is the word for today.